when I looked at that data, I could see there was a lot of um, poor response rates along some of our coastal cities. So I looked at um, Surfside and Myrtle Beach, and really where we had a high concentration of non-responders, we always had a correlate, we have a correlation to people who own second homes and rental properties. So um, my staff has been working with the Census Department in Washington, D.C., because I think a lot of that has to do with people who own second homes and just aren't thinking about the fact that we have to report those residences. So um, it's very easy, you know, you go into your residence address, your second home, your rental property, short-term rental property, uh, put in their address and tell them that zero people live there full time. Uh, once you answer that same question twice, it will ask you, well, why is nobody living there? Is it for sale? Is it a seasonal rental? Is it a second home? And so we're hoping that by seeing this along our coast, um, we by county would be able to provide uh, the census department a, a download, a spreadsheet, uh, if you'd have it, that would list those addresses so that it would clear out those kind of properties so we can really laser focus on areas in our city um, that we know uh, we have year around people and we can focus on them through their churches or other organizations, um, maybe city centers that serve not only children and daycare, but also serve our elders. So.